Corneal blindness is one of the most common forms of blindness. And unfortunately, worldwide, today, there are over 10 million people who, if they had access to a cornea transplant, could have their sight restored. SightLife is a nonprofit global health organization that is focused on eliminating corneal blindness. SightLife's core responsibility is to recover, process, and distribute donor corneas for transplant. So to talk about cornea blindness, first of all, it's good to know what the cornea is. And the cornea is the clear layer of tissue that covers over the colored part of your eye, kind of like the glass on a watch. It's amazing to think that this little 24 millimeter uh, organ has a cornea, which is the first half a millimeter thickness. That is also the only part of the eye, at least right now, that is eligible for transplant. The process from the cornea being donated to it being transplanted into a recipient to restore their sight is quite complicated. Sight Life receives a call from the hospital letting us know that somebody has passed away and that they may be a potential donor. We contact their family and also let them know whether or not their loved one was a registered donor or, if necessary, get their permission and involvement as, as well. Giving her corneas was a very nice gesture we could do for someone else who was going to be sightless or almost sightless. And this gives us some comfort knowing that we could help a couple of other young women live a normal life. So once uh, we approach a family and get an authorization for donation, um, they call one of our eye recovery technicians. And so the corneas are actually taken from the body of the donor in a very delicate surgical procedure and put into a preservation solution that will allow that cornea to be usable for transplant for up to 14 days. The cornea then comes back to one of our laboratory facilities and ultimately we're going to evaluate each cell layer of the cornea. And the cornea actually has five distinct cell layers that have different functions. So when we evaluate the transplantability of the tissue, we evaluate it under a specular microscope to look at the actual cell density, counting the average of the number of cells in the endothelium, it's the innermost layer of the cornea. We also do what's called a slit lamp, which is actually the same examination if you go to your eye doctor and you have an eye exam. It shoots beams of light into the cornea to be able to identify each um, layer that we're looking at. One of the unique things about the cornea is that it's avascular. And what that means is that it has no blood vessels. And that's why it's a clear layer of tissue covering over the colored part of your eye, and it allows the light to come through. That makes cornea transplantation very unique from other forms of transplantation, like kidney transplants or heart transplants or, or other forms, because we don't have to do blood typing or tissue typing between the donor and the recipient. We didn't realize that a person who has cancer and all through her body that she, you can donate the corneas. We didn't realize that because the blood doesn't uh, flow through the eyes. There is a variety of diseases and issues that people can have that can lead to corneal blindness. Sometimes they're genetic diseases, diseases that people are born with that develop as they get older. Sometimes it's babies who are born who have cloudy corneas. And sometimes people have accidents or infections. So once the cornea is prepared for transplant, it's then sent to the surgeon. The surgeon is going to prepare the patient for transplant and they're going to remove surgically that damaged or misshaped cornea and then they're going to replace that with the clear cornea from the donor. They're going to do that entire procedure looking through a microscope and using sutures that are finer than a single strand of hair. Over the following days and weeks and months the patient will heal, they'll ultimately have the bandages removed, they'll have the sutures removed and their sight will be restored. It's not a part of me but it is a part of me so I'm still very thankful for it and I still talk to it, I know it's weird, but I talk to my cornea <laughs> and I'm just so thankful and I would love to meet the family and let them know that I appreciate the gift and I'm not, I don't want them to think that it's something that was taken for granted and I want them to know that it's something that's in my, day, in my life every day that I'm thankful for. 
The cornea is one of the most transplanted tissues, most successfully transplanted, and also one of the longest transplantation has gone on. Starting back in 1905 was the first actually official cornea transplant. There are over 10 million people worldwide waiting desperately for a cornea transplant. And even more challenging is the fact that 98% of that 10 million live in the developing world. And that's why SightLife is really focused on scaling eye banks in these environments so that we can truly increase the availability of cornea transplants to those most in need. The process of eye donation and cornea transplantation is really one of wonder. And because of that, I encourage people to register to be eye, organ, and tissue donors. I am a donor. <laughs> that's I, right away, donor, because just to improve other people's life, I think that's the, a great gift to give to someone before you go. Thank you.